athletes to authors, entertainers to innovators. We connect with those who help shape our culture. Join us in revealing stories of their lives and backgrounds, their triumphs and tragedies that molded them into who they are today. Authentically off script and personally illuminating, this is Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Coming up next on Audibles, Lane Kiffin. So how would you describe your family growing up? Uh, we moved all over, you know, son of a football coach. Um, that everything revolved around football. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of all you knew. That's what seasons were. That's what schedules were. That's what weekends were. Um, you know, so kind of a preview to the rest of my life, I guess. You guys moved around a lot in the, in the early part of your life. Was that... Was it hard for you to adjust to, to moving around so much, or how did you deal with that? I think it became the norm. Um, it's just what you did, so it's all we knew. You know, I look back and I have, like, Minnesota, where I went to high school, I had friends that never moved from the same exact house, mm -hmm. you know, their entire life. Parents still live in that house, and now they live down the street, you know, in their 40s, so... Um, it was a very different life, and that people think it's crazy when I tell it or when I was going through it, but I just didn't know any different. How would you describe yourself as a child? It's a harder question than most of these things. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I think just moving all over the place, I got used to it, easy to make friends, and um, kind of come a chameleon to different areas that you go because you got to fit in. You know, um, sports helps that. I always said that my sister was harder because you move and, and girls are more clicky anyway, but you know, you may have summer baseball or something before fall school even starts. So you, you by the time you go to school you've met some people. Was there something not involving sports when you were young that maybe you wanted to be when, when you grew up, something maybe not involving sports? I kinda knew the coaching thing. Um my mom always says a lawyer, um because she says that I argue everything, but <laughs> I don't think I do that as much anymore. That was more when I was younger, <laughs> or a younger coach. I can see you being a lawyer. I don't Maybe think not. so anymore. I've calmed down. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I was going to ask because of who your dad was. So you always knew you were going to be a coach in some shape or form. So you knew that early. I did. Um, I just remember being young. And I mean, everybody wants to play in the NFL, so I thought it was cool seeing quarterbacks and stuff. But I felt like while my buddies were watching the players more obsessed with becoming one of them, I was watching the coaches and watching. It was really intriguing me that a head coach could walk the sidelines. These guys are in pads and uniforms and all this. But yet he can affect an outcome of a game by his decisions mm -hmm. and his preparation. I thought was really kind of intriguing. Was it always football growing up as a child? Uh, was there any other sport that, that intrigued you or, or, or captivated you? Basketball and baseball, but it was football more just because I was, I was around it all the time. Mm -hmm. So what were the high school years like for a young Lane Kiffin? What was high school like for you? Um, I moved for ninth grade to Long Island, New York when he was with the Jets, and then I moved to Minnesota for the last three years of high school. Um, it was good. It was a good time, really good people in Minnesota. Um, you know, some of my best friends um, from high school there. So um, it was a really good time. Don't go anywhere. Audible's returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together, and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. Before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely by checking ahead for crashes, closures, and construction with MDOT Traffic app, available free for both Apple and Android devices. Where is your nearest Bank Plus? We're here. Here. And here. 
We're with you wherever, whenever you need us. Your bank, your plus, bank plus. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. Fresno State, you attend Fresno State, play quarterback under under Pat Hill. So what was the college experience like for you as a as a college quarterback? It was good because I was already around good coaches. Like I said, Pat Hill ended up being the head coach. Jeff Tedford was my coach, the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, so I dealt with him all the time. And I always said, you know, you get a head start on coaching by who your coaches are when you play. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't you have really good coaches you get a great head start because you're in there listening for years so I was able to get a head start and um, you know didn't play as much as I wanted and so I was backing up two pretty good players um, Derek Carr was first pick of the draft and Billy Volek was the other quarterback that played I don't know 12 years or something in the NFL um, so that kind of got my coaching career started early yeah I was going to ask that this seems like maybe that do you think that kind of propels you kind of started preparing you for coaching because you were able to start kind of observing more and kind of start thinking forward a little bit yeah, maybe it definitely did i think you know everything good is bad and vice versa and so things are blessing sometimes like i had so many buddies that tried to hang on to football you know and went and played in the xfl back then or arena league or something or kept getting tryouts and you know spent some year would spend years or lives trying to chase that dream and then they go, okay, now I want to start coaching, you know, and they're behind. And so that ended up being a blessing, being able to start early. And, you know, while these other guys were trying to get GA jobs, I was already a full-time coach. You started as a uh, student assistant at Florida, or Fre Fresno State from 97 to 98. You spent some time as a defensive quality control assistant under Tom Coughlin while he was at Jacksonville. So Pat Hill, Tom Coughlin, right off the bat, uh, you coached under some pretty big names. What lessons did you learn in those early years as an assistant coach that you still maybe put in practice today as a head coach? Well, I think the Jacksonville Jaguars experience was awesome. I'm um, really fortunate to have that with <clears throat> Tom. Co I was actually on defense. Tom Coughlin's the head coach, and Dom Capers was the defensive coordinator mm -hmm. that I worked directly with. So, two extremely organized, detailed guys, great discipline. Um, so, that was a great start. So the break, arguably, of your career at that point, 2001, you're hired at USC as a tight ends coach. Eventually, your ascension leads to the passing game coordinator in 2004, then the offensive coordinator in 2005. Your coaching career has been well documented since that point. When you look back at those experiences, looking in the rearview mirror, what lessons did you learn from, from those experiences? I just think, I can't speak for others, but myself, like you think you know everything when you're young. Mm -hmm. um, and especially when you're having that much success and you're around that much success, you're around Heisman winners and national championships, um, you know, so I think you learn to keep going. And I think you did a good job at that, like of, okay, hey, we don't have it all figured out. 
you know, even though you start to think you do. And so I just think being around highly successful coaches, great program, Pete Carroll is your head coach, it makes you not be able to just, you know, feel good about what was done and, and sit there and take an off season, you know, not doing anything. So um, I look back to those times as a great growth process and great learning. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to save more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and 0% interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, 0% interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. This piece of land allows us to grow row after row of corn, cotton, and soybeans. That's why as a farm family of Mississippi, we do our best to take care of this land. Water conservation, improvements in soil health, and reducing our carbon footprint all to grow the best products we can. It's just how we do things around here, providing for our family and yours, the farm families of Mississippi. I can totally see us cooking in this kitchen. I can totally see us cooking like pros with natural gas. Oh, I would love to soak in that tub. I'd love to save energy and money with a natural gas water heater. I can imagine cuddling up in here. Because natural gas heating keeps the house comfortable when we need it. We have to get this house. We have to get natural gas. We're investing in infrastructure to help bring comfort and savings to you. Visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy always there. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full, unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel too under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe and enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network where we're changing the game the COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. The vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor. Arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccine protects you and those you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and our community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine. Speaking of that, before you get hired at Alabama, I read in an article you said, uh, and just when I needed him, God answered in a big way. I don't know if God's a big sports fan, but I do know this. He loves a good comeback. That's a great quote, and man, did he answer, because you end up as the office of coordinator at Alabama in 2014. So under Nick Saban, what, what was those early conversations like? What were those early conversations like with, with Coach Saban? Well, he was in a good place for change, which is not hard for anybody, especially him. Um, I mean, when has he ever lost two games in a row? I don't know if it's happened like besides that. He had just lost the Iron Bowl, and then... Um, I think the Sugar Bowl to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And he just had felt like this thing needs to change. Um, he said like a fancy car, I can't remember what type of car he said, you know, um, going off a cliff, like talking about the old offense and that it, there needed to be a change because people were passing it up. And so, you know, I get a lot of credit for that, but you know, like that I pushed him to do it, it was, it was his idea. During the time in Alabama, you win a national championship with Coach Saban, three straight SEC championships. You coach another Heisman Trophy winner in Derrick Henry. The national title win over Clemson was 10 years to the day after the loss to Texas in the title game while you were at USC. You can't write that any better if you tried to write that in a movie. So how often do you reflect on that moment and your comeback story basically being written right before your eyes? I forgot about the 10 years to the day. Um, I don't know how I knew that 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 morning. I want to say somebody sent me that or figured that out. Because I think I tweeted about it. Or something. <laughs> but um, 
What's really crazy is because that game haunted me forever because the fourth down stop when Texas stops us at USC. You know, a bunch of points scored, 538 yards or something like that, you know, and, and we still lost. But it was always like, okay, that fourth down and they stopped us, you know, and then Vince Young goes down. Ten years later to that day, I started to feel the same way in the game. Like all of a sudden we, could not sh we couldn't stop Deshaun Watson. And it felt kind of like, because I remember the Texas feeling like we ran into Superman that day and we didn't have any kryptonite, you know. So I started to feel that way in that game, and luckily it turned and uh, we were able to win it. But it was kind of eerie how similar it was 10, days, 10 years later to that day. Does that put pressure on you as, as an OC going back to the Texas-USC game? Because you feel like you have to outscore Texas, if you have any shots, you got to keep bringing it. Same thing in that game you're talking about with Alabama. Did you feel that pressure as an OC? Like, we, we're going to have to outscore these guys. We're going to have to keep pace in order to, to win this game. Did you feel that pressure? Yeah, but, I mean, you don't really – I mean, for the most part, you're trying to score all the time anyway. So yeah. um, I don't think that that's that big a deal. Don't go anywhere. Audible's returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely by checking ahead for crashes, closures, and construction with MDOT Traffic App. Available free for both Apple and Android devices. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. Where is your nearest Bank Plus? We're here, here, and here. We're with you wherever, whenever you need us. Your bank, your plus, Bank Plus. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. How local is Bank Plus? We're here, here, and here. And we're with you here, here, and here. Wherever, whenever you need us. We make our banking decisions right here because local means more than a location. It means a commitment to deliver more for our customers and our communities. Your bank, your plus, Bank Plus. Twenty seventeen, you take the job at Florida Atlantic. This is an experience you call one of the most rewarding experiences in your life and your coaching career. You had a, a spiritual rebirth and renewed faith in God. So I'll ask you, uh, what does faith mean to you? Well, I think that it puts a lot in perspective, and you don't get defined anymore by your job, which I was for so long. Like that's all you did. You wake up, you went to bed all day was your job, and so if you lost a LA Times or Sports Center or whatever, you're gonna, you know, that defines you. Mm -hmm. You know, you lose or win. You know, what people think and everyone you walk by. It's hard not to be a head coach at a major place and start to get defined by your job because it's how people treat you. It's what they say to you. You know, the same guy talks to you different on the set on the Sunday morning when you see him after a win versus a loss. <laughs> so I think in faith that, you know, you realize, okay, yeah, this is important, but this is secondary. And 
I used to have an assistant coach that used to, after losses, not be that down. We were at USC. Sarkeesian and I used to always say, like, what, you can't even tell whether you won or lost. He's like, you know, God's plan, and we kind of made fun of him at the time. Like, okay, well, it wasn't God's plan to throw the interception. I mean, <laughs> but he was on to something, and, um, you know, you just you get a different perspective. John Gordon is somebody that's really important to you in that renewed faith. Why? Just one of those God moments. Um, I'd never met him, mm -hmm. and got a message all of a sudden he wanted to come see me. I didn't even know he was driving himself from Jacksonville because he said God told him to come meet me. And it was very, we just started talking for a long meeting. It was just kind of, it was really crazy because there was no other reason. It wasn't he was trying to speak or it wasn't someone else telling us to meet. Um, it's just God moment. All right, so FAU turned things around, two conference USA championships, two 11-win seasons. Going through what you'd been through and then having the time under Nick Saban at Alabama, what is it that immediately comes to your mind when you reflect on your time in Boca Raton? The kids. Um, <clears throat> the fact that they, like the seniors, had never won more than three games in a year. And then to come in, win 11 games, you know, I think nine in a row to finish and bowl game, Conference USA Championship. Like it was like the locker room was like them winning a Super Bowl or a playoff run. And I realized it was because many of those kids knew they weren't playing in the NFL. Mm -hmm. The other place I coached that they all think they're playing in the NFL. So really, a lot of them, that's really their biggest goal, not the team. And so when you got around it, you got to, I said in a different interview, it's kind of like the purest form of football. It's like when people say they go back to high school and watch kids play in high school, you know, high school Friday night. I, I, I think that I know that, that kind of happened to me. And to see that because I'd only been at big places and to see that was really cool to see. And um, that by far is the best memory there. Don't go anywhere. Audible's returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Our favorite venues, watching our favorite teams while tailgating with the best fans in the South. We're all back to full capacity this fall. That's why now is the time to book your stay for your favorite college football weekend at Mississippi's premier full-service bed and breakfast. Kay Tyler and the staff at Cart Barn Inn will meet every expectation of you, your family, and your friends. Call and book your reservation today at 662-983-7829 or log on to CartBarnInn.com. Cart Barn Inn, cozy luxury in a brown paper. Paper bag. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full, unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel, too, under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe. And enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network, where we're changing the game. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. When it comes to cooking meals, drying clothes, heating water, and my home, nothing beats natural gas from Centerpoint Energy. It's my most affordable energy option. It costs less to use than electricity, propane, and heating oil. So if you already have natural gas, keep it. If you're replacing an appliance, choose it. Natural gas, your best choice. Safe and affordable, rest assured. For more on the benefits of a natural gas home, visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, 
caring for our community like no one else can. Do you think that reinvigorated you e even more at that point? That gave you like a, like, a, like a different kind of fire at that point maybe? Yeah, I think it got me out of myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so much before was coaching on what it gave me, what the people said about me. I beat that coach, you know, um, as opposed to, no, this is about the players. And I was about the players as far as their development to get them to the NFL. Hey, I'll, I'll show you how to get to the NFL. We'll get you drafted really high, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but just more the day in and day out with them and their development and, you know, their life journey. So then the conversations begin with Ole Miss. So I'm curious, what was it about the Ole Miss job that was so attractive to you to leave a place that had meant so much to you? You had experienced this coaching rebirth, this spiritual rebirth, the purest form of football. What was it that was attractive about Ole Miss? Well, the highest level part, I, I still like, it was really only a few times a year and it would be especially like the national championship beyond i remember that year i think it's like kirby and coach saban like i'm just like cow like that like just that that playing field and you know the the highest level even though the locker room was so quiet or just the like going into the stadium and you know those type of games um was a draw Keith Carter is one of the nicest guys that, that you'll ever meet, but he's also super competitive. All you got to do is watch his old basketball highlights when he played here at Ole Miss to, to find out. What was your first impression of, of Keith when you met Keith? Uh, he wanted to win. He was energetic. Um, it wasn't like, okay, hey, make this higher so, you know, the fans are excited or whatever. Like, hey, I want to really do this thing right. I want to build new facilities. I want to have a championship program, um, which is extremely important. You know, you're not going to win for an extended amount of time without an athletic director and a program that's committed to doing the other things, you know, besides just game day. Do you feel that with Keith being a, he was a student athlete here at Ole Miss, do you think that helps him as an athletic director because he can, he can relate to been there, done that? Do you think that helps him opposed to Maybe someone who hasn't been a student athlete? Sure, player relations and um, street cred with them. Yeah. You know, when they come in, they see his banner up there, you know, um, in the basketball arena. You know, I think that goes a long ways. This past season w was different and, and stranger in a lot of ways because of all the pandemic stuff, but it was an exciting glimpse into what you and your staff are doing here at Ole Miss. How would you assess the first season here? You know, I wish we would have done better in games from a coaching standpoint, especially the LSU game, Auburn game. Um, you know, should have won those games. And so that's it's not how I remember it, but that's how I, like, think about it a lot. Um, I do remember it about, you know, the Egg Bowl win, getting the trophy back. I do remember it about um, the Outback Bowl and the Outback Bowl win against the top ten team and how excited the players were. You know, so I, I, I remember the good parts, but I also remember the bad parts. That's what keeps you up at night? Uh, I guess I would say it that way, yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Audible's returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely by checking ahead for crashes, closures, and construction with MDOT Traffic App. Available free for both Apple and Android devices. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. Where is your nearest Bank Plus? We're here, here, and here. 
We're with you wherever, whenever you need us. Your bank, your plus, Bank Plus. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. The vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor. Arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccine protects you. And those you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and our community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. Matt Corral, he just had an incredible season. And I mean, he finished tops like, or, or in, in the top 10 in so many different categories, passing yards, passion, uh, completion percentage, you name it. Does he remind you of, of anyone that you've coached before? And, and if so, who? I get that a lot. He really doesn't. He's a different skill set um, than the other quarterbacks. Um, kind of an in between where. You know, he's a thrower, but can get out of trouble and runs. He runs better than you would think um, and and saves us a lot of times. Your dad got to be on staff with you at FAU, and, and now he's around here at Ole Miss. How cool is that to not just have a great defensive mind, a great football mind around to, to lean on for advice and chop it up with, but, I mean, it's your dad. I mean, how, how cool is that? To have him around it's awesome I mean everybody would want their dad for the most part but the fact that like he does still motivate coaches players like and just see them pop into his office and he's just done it for so long um, I kind of call him like a coaching angel he really just kind of touches people <laughs> um, it's really awesome you've coached with some really big big names and some great minds your dad Pete Carroll Nick Saban Pat Hill just to name a few who would you say has had the biggest impact on your coaching career? Well, it'd be tough not to hear dad because that's a long time you're mm -hmm. growing up with it. And so that starts you from coaches that you worked under Pete Carroll because that was the longest six years with him as an assistant. But I mean, then you have Coach Saban for three. I mean, how many people, here's two Hall of Fame coaches, two of the best ever and you get to work for them as assistants for them and not offensive coordinators for them and they're defensive guys. I mean, I don't know how you – I mean, I guess the same thing happened for Sarkeesian, but <laughs> so there's two of us that get to, get to do that. Criticism is part of any job. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. How do you deal with criticism? I think you get numb to it. I, I don't know. Other people, I think I have – and you just know it's part of it, and you don't try to please people that you can't control, other fan bases, media. Like, I get these things written all the time, and I just, you know, maybe they bothered me years ago, or whatever. And I was like, first off, some media guys writing that, that didn't come here and cover us, didn't come here and interview me, and then is making this opinion on you, not just, oh, hey, he blew this call, mm -hmm. who cares about that, but writing something on an opinion on you, like, who you are as a person can't control it worry about the players the players and coaches that work with and what they say and what they feel you know and then people that cover you daily how they feel okay so i gotta ask when you're not coaching and recruiting and being a dad what is it that you do just to wind down just to chill out what does lane kiffin do just to 
to loosen up and, and just chill out for a little bit. Used to be the boat in Boca <laughs> because it was in the backyard. Yeah. I still have the house, so um, I do that, but it's just not near as often, obviously, because <laughs> i got to get down there. Um, there's just not a lot of time, but I do enjoy that and on the ocean and fishing. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full, unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel, too, under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe. And enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network, where we're changing the game. Our favorite venues, watching our favorite teams while tailgating with the best fans in the South. We're all back to full capacity this fall. That's why now is the time to book your stay for your favorite college football weekend at Mississippi's premier full-service bed and breakfast. Kay Tyler and the staff at Cart Barn Inn will meet every expectation of you, your family, and your friends. Call and book your reservation today at 662-983-7829 or log on to cartbarninn.com. Cart Barn Inn, cozy luxury in a brown paper. Paper bag. From tablets to drones, even tractors with their own computers. As a farm family of Mississippi, we use the latest technology to get the most out of our land, growing acres of rice, soybeans, and corn. These digital tools help us map out where to plant and harvest. They manage our farmland from a bird's eye view and even tell us the right amount of water to use. It's a smarter way to farm, providing for our family and yours the farm families of Mississippi. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. Vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor and include arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. The COVID-19 vaccine protects you and the ones you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to save more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and 0% interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, 0% interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. In the car or, or your truck with you. What are I we? I promise you, I don't drive a truck. What, what are we listening to? What, what are we listening to? What, what's on the the presets? What are we listening to? Um, I don't do presets anymore. No. Um, Why? Well, that's kind of the truck and the radio thing. Like <laughs> now, your phone plays the music. You have playlists and stuff. So um, that's what you do. You're a playlist guy. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember the last time I would know to push a button for a radio station or something oh i don't know i'll sh i'll shock you uh <laughs> taylor swift would probably be on there taylor swift that would, really that'll shock you er early taylor swift or current taylor current. swift current yeah okay well, i might get impatient with songs that i've heard a million times so. <laughs> see my next question was going to be Just what like, is I your watch, i don't want to watch a movie i've seen before <laughs> My next question was going to be, what's your guilty pleasure music? And I think you kind of just answered it. Or is there, is there one in addition to Taylor Swift? Yeah, you'll probably think this is, this is even crazier. Probably Miley Cyrus. Okay. But that goes back to Paul Feinbaum calling me my, Miley Cyrus. So that's <laughs> what that started. Did that, so that sparked you wanting to check out Miley Cyrus? Yeah. And I still try to prove to Paul, <laughs> calling me Miley Cyrus in college football is really not 
a put down. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is really good, so it's still going. Yeah, I love how you called him out on that, by the way. That, yeah. that was gold. So what is one thing that you would tell anyone who wants to go into coaching uh, to be either the next Lane Kiffin or the next whoever? Like, wh what would be your message to them? Don't be the next Lane Kiffin. That's a <laughs> hard. That's a hard road. Um, I think enjoy it. Uh, you know, because you don't know how long it's going to last. Especially, you get in runs at places, and you think like, oh, especially if you're young, oh, this is how it's going to be all the time. No, it's not. And it's, I'm guessing, one of the few professions that you're going to get fired. Like and probably multiple times throughout your career. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that a lot of other professions are that way. So that's, know that in advance, it's probably not quite as hard to deal with. This is, this is an additional question that I got this morning to, to ask. If you were a wrestler, what song would you walk out to? Would it be a Taylor Swift song? Would it be Miley Cyrus? No, you can't be a wrestler and do that. <laughs> it's not very intimidating. I never did that. We did baseball. Yeah, we did staff baseball. What was your uh, walkout song? My walkout song was. It's right there. It starts with a D. We have to pull Kyle. Not in. a very good SID. You should remember this. <laughs> For those watching, Kyle Campbell, the communications head here. We have yes. to pull Kyle in here in a minute about that. About that song. Maybe it'll come to me. It starts with a D. The walkout song. We'll have to ask Kyle later. Kyle, Kyle's one of our blank. baseball players uses the same one. That's why I heard it. So then that's why I knew to make it mine. <laughs> he said it'll check. So how would the conversation go if you were to sit down with a young 21-year-old Blaine Kiffin? What, what's the most important thing that you would tell or, or teach him? Don't go to USC because they're going to lose 30 scholarships to a two-year bowl ban like a month or two after you're there even though they told you that wasn't going to happen. Um, I think just slow down in your decision making mm. in general, not just that. But um, I just think that everything was just fast. How fast can you get to the top? How much money can you make? You know, and that's all ego driven. And just slow down and you'll make better decisions that way. Look, I, I know you don't do these too often, so I want to tell you thank you for taking a little bit of time with us to do mm -hmm. this for Audibles, and I hope we get to do it again okay. somewhere down the road. All right. See you next week for another episode of Audibles with Jason Scarborough.